is the point of it all to hold you down where you fall on the fragments of a dream you saw come true that wasn't meant for you pointless those shattered fingers of blame you were never in their game like the echo of a lie you tell yourself when no one's dead in Of a dream you saw come true that wasn't meant for you. Pointless, those shattered fingers of blame. You were never in the game. Like the echo of a lie you tell yourself when no one's there to hear. I am pointless. Red, white, and blue are ghosts. Lives that once mattered most Locked in hearts too late for houses And let the seventh flow Uneasy status quo Far too soon to come to see you Pointless is the point of it all to hold you down where you fall On the fragments of a dream you saw come true That wasn't meant for you Pointless, those shattered fingers of blame You were never in the game Like the echo of a lie you tell yourself When no one's there to hear With pyrrhic advantage and reason held hostage by counterpoint. Victor seems victim when truth lies beside him on our world's
That's amazing. Thank you, sir. Well, welcome once again to uh, the performance studio at WRTI 90.1. My name is J. Michael Harrison, and I think first and foremost, we'll send a, uh, a big thank you out to all the veterans and uh, what they've done for all of us, and uh, we really appreciate um, everything that you've done. And uh, we have a, a really special performance today. Um, and, and in a second, I'm going to have you to give all of your names. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I think, uh, you know, two of them, many in the, in the listening and viewing audience may associate with some of the greatest artists of all time, for sure. So I'll have you run through the whole thing, but I'm, I'm going to try to give it a go. Um, Ola Onabule. Very, very, very I've been good. practicing. Very impressive. All right. Thank you. <laughs> but now give them the full list of <laughs> names. The full name is Ola Tunji Olubenga Abdul Majid Ola Ruwaju Adetokumbo Omotayo Onabule. <laughs> I didn't practice that one. Um, but yeah, you know, Anika Lupo, Ola Tunji, you know, when yes. you think of Fela and Ola Tunji, two of the, the greatest yes, of all absolutely. times. Now, was that uh, intentional? What, were those names given to you um, in any way associated with those artists? Or, or where, did, where did that come from? They're reasonably common names in Yoruba land. Um, and uh, they, they usually tell a story. Each name, you know, describes something that happened to a particular generation. And uh, for me, I've got so many of them because, and there's so many more that I don't even know because I'm the firstborn son of a firstborn son of a firstborn son. So you, you kind of inherit the names, whether you want them or not. It goes on. <laughs> exactly. Now, it was great to have you here today. Um, we heard the title selection from the new work. Absolutely. Pointless. Yeah. Um, a wonderful project. Thank Why you. don't you give maybe a, a little bit of an overview of this project? It's very okay. poignant hits on a, a lot of issues. Um, so if you can give us a little insight, a little perspective to the new CD. Well, the album uh, 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 came into being uh, uh, over one evening, essentially. The concept for the album uh, came into being over one evening. I was uh, sitting around my computer and someone shared a video and as tends to happen these days, you're watching the thing that's been sent to you before you know what you're watching. And in this particular instance, it was a, the interior of a car, um, a man sitting at the, at the wheel, uh, someone's filming, and there's someone outside the car, and within a second, he's being shot. And in the panic and pandemonium that ensues, the camera's moving around, we see a three-year-old girl, a little girl sitting on the back seat, and the video ends. And I'm sitting there, you know, essentially traumatized trying to figure out what to do with this information I've got and the only way I could kind of therapize myself was to write something was to write Cleansing, a song sure. yes so I wrote the first song of the album Ballad of the Star Cross was more or less written that e evening mm. and I just kept writing and many many songs later I had enough to put together an album and realized I'd written an album about violence, modern day violence, whether it be emotional, political, psychological, physical, uh, rooted in authority, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth, and uh, hence the album. Yeah, no, it's, it's, you know, with all that darkness, it's a, it's a <laughs> wonderful project. Oh, well, thank uh, you. No, no, it's really a great thank project, you. and, uh, you know, again, it's great to have you here today. Um, you're going to give us another piece? I am, what, yes. what, what are we going to hear next? Uh, we're going to hear, actually, uh, uh, counterintuitively, we're going to hear a song from an old album. This is a song called How. Um, and it's a, it's a, a song about um, uh, trying to figure out who you are from the inside out before you, you know, work out what you're going to do with mm. the world out there rather than have it motivate everything you do and think and feel and say. How? That's, that's wonderful. Um, when we come back, you'll give us a little perspective on this wonderful band that you have here Absolutely. With you yes. as well. But for now, yeah. how? Fantastic. Thank you, sir. I make most things right I suffer the play Of a simple man And yet we hold the key For the ones yet to come That 
you sounding drum beats within my mind. Take you to the tree that's been burning. Bradley says the world's been turning. What you need to know is in the tree the key of life. Some will take love off those who need it. Then you must discern, cause this has meaning. What you need to know is in the tree the key of life. Some say one day. Love is bound to return To correct the wrongs we've done In our human way Oh, and how will it know That I'm not one of those Who is so and so lost for him Bradley says the world's been turned. What you need to know is in the tree the key of a life. Some will take love far from those who need it. Then you must discern this has meaning. What you need to know is in the tree the key of a life. This world's been turning What you need to know is in the tree The key of life Some will take love far from those who need it Then you must decide Does this as meaning What you need to know is in the tree The key of life What you need to know is in the tree What you need to know is in the tree, the key of life. What you need to know is in the tree, the key of life. What you need and know 
the key. Oh, His name once again, Ola Onabule. Great to have you here, man. Thank you very much. Oh, no, this, this, hey, this is wonderful. We've got a wonderful audience here with Absolutely. us today. Absolutely. Hi, audience. <laughs> and of course, all the viewers out there. Um, you were born in London. I was born in London, yeah. And then moved to Nigeria, yeah, at the age right? of seven uh, yeah. for 10 years, lived in Nigeria. Yeah. So that's, you know, it seems like maybe a little different. Many born in Nigeria <laughs> go to London, but yeah. you're making a trek back. Um, you know, for you, having that opportunity to, uh, you know, to experience both that world mm. and, and Europe and London, and mm. then, you know, back to the motherland, if you will. Mm. Um, if you can talk about what those two experience offered and, and you know, contributed to your, your development. Oh, absolutely. Um, well, it was it was the uh, traditional thing to do back in the 60s. A lot of uh, uh, the Nigerians who found themselves in the UK uh, were there to uh, get an education, uh, you know, just improve themselves generally, returning to the uh, motherland, mm -hmm. as it were, you know. Um, and the plan always was to go back home. And uh, around that time, it was a, 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 the thought was, you know, go back home and do some nation building. Mm. So when my parents left the UK, they thought they were going back for good. And the idea was that I would get sent back, uh, study to be a lawyer, and come back home and join in the effort to uh, nation build and all that kind of stuff. But I discovered jazz instead. And <laughs> the plan went awry. And, and the, the plan went awry. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, um, but it was it was a great ten years because um, the significant um, revelation was this place of 180 million people who all looked like me, where I realized I didn't have to consider myself other than in the ways that are, you know, we're mm -hmm. all other than in some way or mm -hmm. shape, but not in the ways that had been powerfully reinforced, you know, growing up as a young child in the UK. And that really kind of threw my mind, the doors to my mind open. Um, and, you know, and maybe were the seeds of what turned into this uh, constant philosophical contemplation journey thing that I'm on. You know, who are we? Why are we here? What What's the point of us all looking slightly different, but being entirely the same other than that micron sure. thick layer of whatever it mm -hmm. is um, and, and and so it was important to have gone back and to return and then go forward out into the rest of the world how, how did jazz come into your your life and, <laughs> and, and redirect things for you well the, the the first love was soul so a lot of it was rooted in this town <laughs> a lot of the music that i heard growing up was rooted in this town and a lot of motown mm -hmm. as well um it was when i was in university that you know this uh, cool dude dropped a whole load of stuff on me starting from louis armstrong to ellington to miles all the essentials mm -hmm. um and beyond you know uh, into the kind of uh, fusiony based uh, yellow jackets weather reports mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. kind of stuff and i just lost it i thought wow what a powerful communication oh of course i could hear the strains of the stuff that was happening back home you sure. know some of the afrobeat sure. in there and I was um, fascinated by the journey, the music, the round trip that the music had made, you know, uh, re-kind re of um, pollinating oh. itself, but, you know, between the diaspora sure. and the uh, home, sure. home country. So yeah. it fascinated me and, it, you know, it, it's, it's allure stays with me to this day. <laughs> well, you have my, um, I would say, old friend. But he's only 21. Absolutely. Um, the great Kelvin Bell with you on guitar today. Why, why don't you give us a little perspective on, on these guys that are hanging out with Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Well, we'll start with uh, Kelvin. He told you he was 21, 20, but he's actually he's actually 20. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, in truth. He's trying to make himself legal. Is that? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is Mr. Kelvin Bell, an, an exceptionally gifted and, you know, uh, legendary guitarist. I'm incredibly proud to have him. 
in the band. Um, over on percussion, we have Mr. Victor C. Yen. Uh, once again, these guys, you know, are uh, uh, they, they, they command huge amounts of respect yes. wherever they go, and with me as well, they're immense. Victor on percussion. And on keyboards, we have to Mr. Darwin Noguera, who's uh, the longest serving member of the, of the uh, okay. troupe so far. Okay. Uh, exceptional pianist. What can yeah, I say? I'm, I'm a very lucky chap. It's evident. Yeah. All right, I think we have time for, for one more selection. Okay. Um, I think I know what it is, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to ask you to tell me what it is. Aha. Okay, and and may I also tell a little story about uh, Please, the importance by all of means. this song? About, yes. Well, you know, you very very kindly presented this song uh, to uh, NPR, and it got chosen as one of their uh, new upcoming, you know, notables, and uh, and that's how we find ourselves here. The song's called "The Old Story." Um, it's uh, a song that deals with a rather difficult part of the. Uh, story that you know these events mm -hmm. evolved it's um, a man contemplating why he has to be at the center of such a tragedy he's the one who's doled out the tragedy and he's not happy with uh, the way the fates have dealt him this particular hand yeah, um, he has the authority he has the authority he's to been do granted this the thing. power yes yeah. Yeah, yeah. yes and in a moment of reflection he thinks well, how did this come to be and he contemplates the the route that history takes and allots each person their role you know um, so yeah, I, I, I think we should have uh, printed out flyers for the audience <laughs> so they could sing that chorus. That oh, you're about, wow. you know, but but they, they, they're about to find out. What a fantastic <laughs> idea! I wish we thought Next about. time, absolutely. Um, Next so time. again, this is this is called the old story. All right, once again, hola on a boule. Thank you. Every night tormented by apparitions Informs them move like an ancient masquerade Bloody visas whisper these are not delusions, no. Just the just desire to pass these that oversteer. I hear them cry, we don't do sky free. No checking out, doubting what will be. The dance bill sages all of a Generations will recall till locked in step with history's beat. We'll tell the old story. Oh, what shall you do? Oh, you fool fool. Oh, so come on. Oh, what will cry? Oh, what shall you do? Oh, you fool fool. Oh, so come on. As I dim his lights, they shine the dawning. This promised land of beginnings delivered his end. Mm, and from that revelation, I divine the meaning. Not sure the true star the meaning, a lie that pretends. I hear him cry, I don't do victim, but why? Must I exist just to tell a man? I must prepare him to die. I plan to live, not live the plan. I try, but never do all that I can. Trapped in the old story.
as I dim his lights, they shine to dawn. This promised land of beginnings delivered his end. And from that revelation I divine meaning Nature the truth stopped the meaning like that pretense I heard him cry Oh wah oh washa do do Oh ju foo foo Oh so come on Oh wah Oh washa do do Oh, you fool, fool. Why must I be the angel of death? No. Why must I be the angel of death? No. Oh, walk, walk, walk. Oh, I shall do do. Oh, do foo foo. Oh, so come on. Thank you. That is special. That is very, very, very special, man. Um, you know, I have to give a, a big shout out to uh, our production team because there's been a lot of struggle to get this going <laughs> yes. today. But, uh, you know, Tyler and Paul and, and yourself, you guys with all the patience um, for Thank persevering you. and making this happen. You know, I think it's a special treat to have you here. Um, you. Also, shout out to, to the record label and, and everybody that's helped make this happen today, man. It's, it's really wonderful Absolutely. to have you here. Um, you, you're, you're a very stylish cat, man. You know, every, every time I've seen one of the videos, you're always, uh, you know, showing showing a little swag where, where's that come from where, where, where oh well it, my dad said if you if you if you dress well you show respect to your audience and I you know he told me that as a kid so whoever you share a space with and, you know it's just stayed in my mind it's it's a habit now yeah, take take that with you for yeah, sure no no that's wonderful that's wonderful um things that may be coming up folks that uh folks out there that they may be able to look for down the road yeah, we've got one more date left in the U.S., and it's in Boston. It's uh, the famous Scholars. Uh, you know, um, we're there on the uh, 15th. Um, come, come down and see us if that's a drive you're willing to make or if you're in the city. Uh, and then we hope in the new year to be back to do quite a few dates, you know. Um, Wonderful. Yeah, it's a beautiful Look forward thing. to seeing everyone again. If folks want to keep up with what's going down, all things Ola, what's the best ways for them to do that? All the social media slash Ola on Abule. So Facebook slash uh, Instagram slash Ola on Abule, uh, Twitter. You can find me that way. And uh, the music's available on all the digital download sites. Uh, so fairly easy to, si uh, to find. Well, it's been it's been a wonderful day again uh, today, Veterans Day, you know, a really mm -hmm. special day. Um, salute to all the veterans out there and, and thank you for your service. 11-11 um, is also Hail the Whale National Corduroy <laughs> Day. I was going to wear some corduroy. I couldn't find any at home today. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, and also uh, the great Hannibal Lukembe, the trumpet player, it's his oh, birthday oh, today. Wow. So uh, a, <laughs> a wonderful, a wonderful day. So again, thank you to the audience. Great to have you here. Um, this is WRTI 90.1 live from the performance studio. And also today is the day that we kind of launch our official campaign to let the world know that WRTI and our video content is now shown on NPR's Music Live. Oh, wow. Session. So that's big for us as well. So there's a lot of positive activity going on Amen. once Thanks again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you, you reaching Thanks out. Thanks for having me. No, really this is wonderful. It. This Thanks is wonderful. For all your support. Amazing support. Thank you.